Hello everybody, welcome back to A Slug's Dream. We are getting fewer and fewer on levels that remain unsolved. I'm going to ignore Cacti Corner for now. We've done everything here. What was this? Rays. Ah. Oh. Okay. The problem with rays is that I'm pretty sure there's no way for me to cheese this, so I actually have to figure out the solution to the puzzle. Just the dimensions don't work out the way I want them to. And I don't know how to make something face upwards without the presence of a second portal to put something through. And so then it becomes a question of, do I just need to make a bunch of resistance? And with that thought in mind, perhaps I need this halfway through here, and there will be some way to make an escape with these two pieces. What that looks like, I'm not entirely sure. If I tip, I can't tip this up now because it's in the way, but I can move it over, tip it up, and then push it. I need to get off this diagonal. So if I could walk up this, I would be okay. But I can't make resistance on that. It just gets pushed. And the way that these other pieces work, I don't think I can make resistance with just another L shape. But that might just be it. It might just be a case of finding the way these two things interlock in this location to do the thing I want them to do. Because with this here, that can go that way, in a manner of speaking. that pops out through there. I can pop out through there. But I think there is some way with two L shapes, I might be able to make the resistance I need to climb. Because I just need to get on top of this blue piece. Hold on, wait. And now climb up Hey, you managed to solve it without entering per Portal's Tale first. Okay, progress was made. Great. Let's try Far. Okay. Well. Obviously, I need to get over there. I need to get up very high. And then I need to get back. That is the three components of this puzzle. This allows me to tip that up. And if I want to, I can use this to get me onto this island. Now, what's also interesting is anything that comes to this island from this side can't be moved upwards because there's no tile in this lane on the right-hand island to push anything upwards. Now, I wonder if perhaps pushing something along this gap would solve my problem because then I'd have the two tiles at the very back of this island to help me, but I am uncertain right now. 
very, very uncertain. What I would like to do is perhaps get a blue teleporter over to the right without much else being needed in the transportation. But the problem with that is going to be clearing this gap for two pieces. Now, what I can do is this. But now coming through here results in me falling out of the water. I can also do something like this. What happens? I can't tip that. Oh. It was not the interaction I was expecting, but it is totally a valid one that might be helpful. So now I have some access to this island. I'm not sure to what end, but I do. That makes water, and I can get across. I feel like if there were a blue one here, the blue one would be on like the z-axis one. Then the red is three high. So I couldn't pop out of the red on top of this to get the flower. Alright, since I fell out of that by mistake, perhaps we'll have more luck over here. I remember how to eat the flowers. And that I can basically reset things thereafter, if I wish to. So how do I get up? I think last time... I was working with the possible notion of making two offset step pieces like this and trying to make some kind of accessible stair with them by problems coming in where if you don't have resistance you can't step on something. So I want that other one to be three tall, but they can't both be three tall. Which is a problem, obviously. And if this is here, I can't do that because it gets pushed over. So is there something else I can do? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that something I can work with? I assume this doesn't work because it's too short. But it works in the inverse. Does it work this way up as well? It does. What happens if I then try and tip that over? I assume... Oh my god. 
What is even happening here? This is, this is a whole world of interactions I had not previously explored at all. That kind of looks like a staircase. Now, I might need the stairs in slightly different locations. That doesn't work. That does, bizarrely. But still, resistance is the problem on the last step. Hold on, hold on. Ah, no. My brain went, if I could push this over, I could then get up, I could do this maneuver and be on top of it and climb out. But now that I've covered the portal, I can't do that. But, hold on, hold on. If I can release this in a way that is functional to me, I can't push it this way. So I've got the things I need, I think. What I want is the left-hand piece further away from the wall. Come on now, there you go. So. That's there. And there. I now just want to use this piece to get up the step. Is this what I need? Yes! You managed to solve it without entering portals. Nice! Okay, we'll leave far. So we have far pools. Man, we really don't have much left, do we? Far pools, double trouble, and some cacti stuff. It's like all of a sudden, we're more, like, far more done than not, and it seems to have all happened in an instant. Right, four. Far, I don't really get. Pools. I think I could probably suss this one out. So, we can stand on the entry block if we need to. Otherwise, I have these two. What can I do with these two? Is a great question. That crushes flowers. I can obviously go in one and come out of the other. If these two were the opposite way around, like if I could flip one of them upside down, would that change a lot about what's going on here? So that gets me to one end. But I basically cannot recover anything now, I don't think. Because there's not a lot of room to maneuver. I 
can do that. I can do the same similar thing over here. The difference being primarily is that this one is next to this. Ah, oh, I gotta get back through the portal. <laughs> it's always the getting back that sucks. If this were upright or something, it would be better. I can't push that over because I get wet. So, climbing up sneakily doesn't help. There's no way this is helpful. We haven't had water flowing in any of these examples. I can't stand there because it's too hot. That doesn't work. What else can we do? What else can we do? What move am I missing? Obviously, this is not helpful. Oh, is this is this helpful? Okay. Can I tip it over one further forward? I can't. If I tip this over first. I can get these. Hold on. Then if I tip this over, I can get those. Very nice. Cool. Right, so. Back to far, I guess. No, oh God, just no, I cut my brain can't. All right, shall I treat myself? to looking at this one that I've been saving for last, but I think between far and the cacti that remain, it's going to be difficult enough. I have not investigated this at all yet. There's a lot of flowers up there. There's a lot of flowers over here. Where does this take me? To a place above the flowers where I can't do very much. And this is one giant piece of stonework. Why do I feel like... I'm going to need to end up doing... this. Okay, yes, that is mostly what I imagined would happen. But then it's the ones underneath. Now, I can also get this through first. I can also move that. That is also something to consider. Tell you what, let's go and look at this piece of stone first. I think if I put that there, or thereabouts, I could move this through here. 
I want to find some way of moving upwards on this other piece of stone. Because I imagine I want to try and walk up and then drop down. I haven't figured out what this is for. Or what these three are for. I can't do that. I'll tell you what I can do. Hold on. Okay. Hold the telephone for me for one moment, please. Because I think this just became incredibly simple, which is a risky thing to say in a time like this. But let's see if my brain has had... Oh, no. I definitely, definitely have not figured this out in a way that does an amazing thing because my brain was like why don't I just push this down the hole but I can't get behind it so that's moot however I can bring it back down again which is interesting The other thing I have pondered in this exact moment is what if I could use this to get that to go back through here. That gets to there. Yeah. Okay. If I bring this down, and that over one, then bring this through here, I might have to do this. No, I can do that. And then that goes there. And then provided I haven't missed anything, which I don't think I have, we can leave the level with relative ease. Well done. That is double trouble done. So, I think that leaves me with four puzzles. All of this stuff at the beginning is done. We've walked past that a bunch of times. There's barbs, double climb, reach it. And far, I think. We've done all this. There's far. I don't think there's anything hiding in this back wall anymore or anything. My brain thinks that in the demo there was like something hiding in one of the holes in the walls or something. But I might be making that up. But it's certainly the type of geography where you could hide a tiny tunnel in between two pieces, couldn't you? Alright, let's go look at one of these cacti levels very briefly. Reach it. This one, I don't really have any memory of, if I'm honest. My first thought... Uh, my can I not do that, please? Do I just do that when you come in through the level? Okay. My first thought was going to be something like this. But 
but I can't tip that up onto the stone one. I can like this, except then when I move one, the other will move as well. Although, I can then do that. And if I put this face down, I can eat that. Okay, good start, good start. Then I basically want to repeat this over the other side in some manner, don't I? I could also split it into two L shapes again, as we have seen me do before. around that. Now, I can't get on the stone. So what else could I do? I kind of regret resetting through the first flower, but oh, we can undo through it. So if we get back to everything being on relatively manipulatable land, I'm intrigued by making two L shapes here. Right, I think this is about as good as it gets. So with this, is there some way I can climb all of this stuff? This just looks silly to me now. Ah, it's not what I wanted to see. Ah, okay, I have a landing problem, but it's something. How could I do against the resistance problem? I guess it's not the resistance problem, it's the landing problem, but the two are very intertwined in this moment. Where else can I put this other L before it gets so close okay that seems closer oh my god could I have the other one in the water just like Opposite it on the other side. Kinda, but not quite. Now that can move. This can't move. I can't go through the teleporter. So that's no good. I want the L to kind of be facing the other way, but that's so many manipulations that the rotations hurt in my brain. We could make this the short one. And 
That doesn't help me. This also does not help me. I'm hoping that this is on the right track, because if it's not, then I've got problems. Because once I've done this, is this ever anything I can work with? No. Um, I was in the middle of a sentence and I've lost it completely. Once the stone piece is there, I was going to say that it can't be moved anymore, but I can do that to, I don't think, much avail. All right, I'm going to put that down there. But there's something, there's something there. This is its own nightmare. And barbs I've spent a lot of time in, and I just cannot figure out a way to make it over that leap. But I think four puzzles remain. So join me next time. We'll try and tackle the last of those. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.